The Kyiv Post media outlet has obtained several exclusive videos and photos showing the continuation of a special operation by the main intelligence directorate units to destroy Russian forces in Syria. According to the Kyiv Post, sources within the intelligence agency, the Kimik group carried out another complex strike against the positions of the Russian occupation forces in Syria at the end of July 2024. The target of the attack was Russian military equipment at the Kouirez Air Base, which is located east of Aleppo and occupied by Russian forces. The released videos purports to show key moments of the attack. First, a Russian mobile EW complex is destroyed, followed by drones attacking Russian military objects at the airbase itself. The strike was reportedly carried out the day after a meeting between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. The Kouirez Air Base has been controlled and used by the Russians for military purposes since 2015. Ukrainian intelligence tells the Kyiv Post that the base was also used for training and transporting foreign mercenaries to the war in Ukraine. In early June, the Kyiv Post also published exclusive footage of Ukrainian special forces attacking enemy checkpoints, strongholds, foot patrols and columns of military equipment in the Golan Heights in Syria. According to a Kyiv Post source in the HUR, since the beginning of the year, insurgents with the support of Ukrainian fighters have delivered numerous strikes against Russian military facilities under the control of the so-called Russian Armed Forces Group in the Syrian Arab Republic. Russia's intervention in Syria in 2015, initially aimed at supporting President Assad's regime during the civil war, led to the permanent deployment of thousands of Russian troops there. In the fall of last year, Moscow transferred some troops and equipment from Syria to the battlefield in Ukraine, potentially making their forces in Syria more vulnerable to Ukrainian attacks in the region. Due to their prolonged presence in the region, the Russians have created numerous recruitment centers to enlist Syrian mercenaries for the war in Ukraine. Mercenary recruitment is overseen by the Center for the Reconciliation of Opposing Sides and Refugee Movement Management at the Hamaimim Air Base occupied by Russia. There, mercenaries are issued Russian passports and then incorporated into the Russian Armed Forces. A prominent Russian propagandist has become the latest pro-Putin figurehead to express a desire for Alaska to be under Russian control again, raising fears that the country could make a land grab for the US state. Presenter of Russia One program 60 Minutes and Putin mouthpiece Olga Skabayeva referred to the US state as our Alaska during a broadcast. Newsweek says that Alaska once belonged to Russia. In 1867, it was sold to the US after then-President Andrew Johnson signed the Alaska Treaty. It gained the status of a state on January 3, 1959. Alaska and Russia are positioned about 53 miles apart at their closest point. Skabayeva made the remarks after fellow pundit Adalbi Shkagoshev, a deputy of Russia's parliament, the State Duma, commented on a joint patrol staged by Russia and China last week that came within 200 miles of the Alaskan coast. Russian Tu-95Ms and Chinese H-6K strategic bombers, alongside escorting Russian Su-30SM and Su-35S jets, operated together over the North Pacific Ocean and the Bering Sea. It marked the first time the two countries had been intercepted while operating together. Our aircraft approached the borders of Alaska. Shkagoshev said of the joint patrol before he was interrupted by Skabayeva, who incorrectly said that the state Duma deputy had said, our Alaska. She added, right now the head of the Pentagon is hiccuping nervously somewhere. You said our Alaska. And he just said that if Russian and Chinese planes penetrate the territory that the US considers its own, the US is ready to enter the war. State TV propagandists, including Skabayeva, have even floated the idea of either striking or seizing the territory of NATO members during Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. 
Moscow has accused the West of being complicit in the war by providing Kyiv with military aid, weapons and equipment to fend off Russian forces. In January, the US State Department responded to a Kremlin decree following claims that Putin gave Russia grounds to reclaim Alaska. The Kremlin signed a decree regarding historic Russian real estate holdings abroad, directing and funding the presidential administration and the foreign ministry in searching for real estate in the Russian Federation, the former Russian Empire, the former USSR. Then, referring to the proper registration of rights and legal protection of this property, Newsweek previously reported.